So I've never been a huge Minecraft fan, I've never actually played the game, but I know that there's a huge Minecraft community on YouTube, so I thought I'd show you how to do this Minecraft text in Photoshop. It's actually pretty simple to do. What you should know is that I'm using Photoshop CC, which has new upgraded 3D features which we will use. So if you have an older version of Photoshop, the process may not be the same. Also, in the description I have a link for this Minecraft font that we will be using. So go ahead and download that before you start and then you should be good to go. So I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to go with 1920 by 1080 but you can use whatever size you feel like using. And I'm going to add my text and put it in the middle. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And again, the link for this font will be in the video description. Okay, so you want to right click on the text in the layers panel and go to new 3D extrusion from selected layer. And Photoshop might ask you if you want to switch to the 3D workspace, which of course you want to do, because then you'll be able to edit the properties and everything of the text. So if you go to the 3D tab down here, and if you can't see it, just go to Window and 3D, and click on the left button in this little menu. You should be able to see all the different components of this document. Now this is the text, so if we minimize this, we'll select the entire text, but if we, if we open it up, you'll be able to edit the different components of the text. But now we want to work with the text as a whole, so just minimize it and click on the entire layer. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to rotate the text. So grab the rotation tool, which is the one to the left up here. And if you place it somewhere over the, the top or the bottom part of the text, you'll be able to rotate it around the x-axis which is what we want to do. So when I want to rotate it maybe 30 degrees or something like that. And that should be pretty good. Now we can see that the text is a little bit too, too deep. And to fix that just go to the right and change the extrusion depth to maybe around 5. It kind of depends on the size of your text. Again if you have a different size you can just play around with the settings a little bit and find the settings that work best for you. With the text still selected, go up here to where it says cast shadows and disable that. Because we want the text to be kind of floating around in midair, so we don't want to have any shadows because they'll kind of throw you off and make it appear as if the text is standing on some type of invisible surface, which we don't want to do. So disable cast shadows and then go to shape preset. Click on the fourth one in this list which is bevel with contour. And this will create like a bevel or a thick edge around the text, which is what we want. But right now it's a little bit too thick. So go to the third button from the left, which should say cap, and then click on that one. And decrease the width to around 10%. And again, if you have a bigger or smaller text, you might want to use different settings, so just kind of play around with the settings a little bit. Now we're going to change the colors of the text. So if you look at the actual Minecraft logo, you can see that the front part of the text is a lot lighter than the sides. So to do that, just expand the text layer, and you want to click on the top two text layers, because this is the, the front of the text, or this is the, the top one is the front, and the second one is the bevel, or the front bevel. So select those two by clicking the top one, hold and shift, and then click the bottom one. Go up here to the properties and change the diffuse color to like a light gray. Kind of like that. It's going to look almost white, but we're going to change the light settings a little bit later. So that'll change it to like a light gray type of color, which is what we want to do. And then you want to go to the other text layers. So click on the third one, hold shift and click on the fifth one. And uh, the side of the text is going to be a lot darker than the front. So go to the diffuse and change it to a dark gray color like that and then click OK. And now we're going to edit the light. So 
Photoshop should add a light by default. If you can't see a light in this list here, just go down to the bottom and add one. So click on the light and you should see this sphere type thing. Now you can see that it has like a pole with a smaller sphere on it and this thing kind of point, points towards the light. If we click and hold with the rotation tool, we'll be able to move it around. And you want the light to be in front of the text, but sort of underneath it. So you don't want to have it at an angle like this or like that. You want to have it in front of the text, but still you want it to be sort of underneath the text so that we get this nice shiny reflection at the bottom. So just try to kind of copy my settings and that should be pretty good. Okay, so now we're done with the 3D part. So you want to change the 3D view to Essentials. And you do that up here to the right. And then uh, you want to just click anywhere to get rid of the grid. Then double click on the text or on the, the text layer and add a stroke. You want to make sure that it is positioned on the outside of the layer and you want to increase the size a little bit to maybe around 5. Again, it depends on the size of your text. Then you want to add a gradient overlay. You want to change the gradient to a black to white overlay and then click OK. Then change the blend mode to overlay and decrease the opacity a little bit to maybe 50, 45 and then click OK. Now we're actually finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It might be a little bit difficult if you're new to the 3D features of Photoshop, but this can be a good start if you want to explore it further. And again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.